Hi everyone, welcome back to Streammania. Today I'm going to do my first water change in my new stream room. If you want to see that, stick around, it's going to be interesting. So what we have here, as you can see, we have two large tanks. This is for water to puff and this is for water change. Yesterday I filled this tank up and I already mixed all the salts. So the water TDS is 113 in this tank, 114, yeah, which is perfect for my shrimps. I try to keep TDS about 120. 115 in my tanks and then under the sink here I have my water changing system so I have a little pump which connect to my drain behind this RO unit and then I have uh, already water you can see water inside the pipe so it's primed so now all I need to do is just to attach this device I made myself and then I hook it on the tanks and switch on the pump and drain the water and then we're gonna top of the new water from this big container yeah so what i did here i have a tap and i have a, like a screw nut just to undo that thing because this is too big for fitting to this cabinet that's the only thing I, why i want to remove it but normally before i do the water change what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just attach it to the pump like this so first i'm gonna start with my new rack and i'm gonna just hook it on the rack on the tank like this then i'm gonna switch on the pump so you can hear the pump start working. Okay, so everything is ready, the pump is on. So now we only need just to turn on this valve. I turn this valve and just wait. I say now we're gonna move to the next tank because yeah. And then I hook it to the next tank, switch it on again. The only thing I need to make sure that this any little baby is not sucking inside, that's it. But probably I need to put some kind of like a mesh or something on top of that. Okay, that's about 10%. We switch it off now. Good, so the top tank's ready. Now let's move to the bottom tanks. So now I can start to changing the water in these tanks. I only have one, two, three, four, four more tanks. You can see I have like a chest one, one, no tank, no tank, no tank. And because I start to already prepare the tanks for set them up, so I'm gonna set up new tanks here in a ne very near future, guys. You know, guys, I just realized I didn't plug my microphone, so I have my microphone. Before we add the water, I want to clean the glass, and normally I use a scraper. It's just a simple scraper where you can change the plates. I make it slightly shorter because not much room here. So I clean the glass quickly, but this glass is quite clean. It's not much of the algae in this tank. Because of a lot of plants we have here, plants suck in a lot of nutrients, and the algae doesn't grow very well here in this tank. Okay, now let's do the same thing with the top tanks, just to clean the front glass. I always want to clean the front glass, just to make sure we have enough biofilm and algae growing on the side and back glass. It's much easier to clean the glass when you have brand new blade, which I just put in brand new blade, that's why it's just very easy. But over the time blade becoming blend and it doesn't clean very well. But this blends cheap as a dirt, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. This tank has not much algae as well. So this tank doesn't need to be clean at all. Lots of shrimps here in this tank, but they become more active because of a lot of algae now in the, in the water and they try to catch it and they excited about that. So now we can top off the water. And what I do here, I switch on the pump in this tank, which this switch here, and then I turn off the water top off valve, turn on this valve, and that's it, it should start water coming from that big tank. Yeah, you can see we have a water coming from auto top off system, or floating valves. Yeah, here as well, and here as well, yeah, you can see. So now we just wait. I think it's gonna take maybe half an hour, 20 minutes or so to top up the water. Okay, the water change is finished and this took us about 40 minutes to change the water in these four tanks. And I think if I do in the same time the rack, it's gonna take maybe one hour or so. And uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward thing. So you can see I have a hose here running to, to the sink and that's um, 
reach to any tank in this room so very handy to do that no buckets needed so i don't even have any buckets right now here okay let me just switch this pump on again so i, I definitely need to install the smart plug i have smart plug just need to install it so yeah once i switch it on let's do this tank as well so you can see it's a good good pressure and it's all going into this drain directly yeah very happy with that and it's very quick very fast it only take uh, like uh, 30 seconds probably to uh, just take the 10 percent out of the tank okay all done now we just only need to wait oh that water coming from that need to be careful yeah so once I've finished my water change, I'm gonna tidy up my horse and put it on this top shelf, which I created deliberately for this horse. And uh, I need to make sure that I close this valve and I need to make sure that water stays inside because next time when I do water change, I don't need to prime this uh, horse again. So all I need to just do to switch on the pump and uh, switch, switch on this valve and then start to drain the water out from the tanks. So now I need to dismantle it and remove that thing because it's, it's a little bit bulky and wouldn't fit if I just leave it like that. So I put it here on the shelf, then I tidy up the holes and fit it on the shelf as well, like this. It actually was my dream to do it this way for a long time because my old stream room was in the bedroom. I didn't have any water supply, water access. I didn't have access to the drain pipe. So I had to use my buckets and I had to carry the water myself putting in the tanks and carry it upstairs it was a nightmare guys now i'm super happy i don't need to do anything it's just the water change is so easy now guys i can do it every day no problem guys it's just very simple very quick very fast so now next time i just need to do the same thing and it's going to take me only like 10 minutes to do the water change in all my tanks or so yeah very easy also need to wipe the floor every water change because i have some spillage a little bit just a tiny bit just a few drops and last but not least, I'm gonna add some bacterial powder, which I have from Shrima Fair. I still have this bacterial powder for more than one year, year and a half or so. There's a lot of bacterial powder. But if you have a lot of bacterial powder, make sure you change that si silica gel inside. This gel is good for uh, absorb all the moisture because you, the last thing you want is to moisture get inside your bacterial powder. It's just gonna kill it. It's not gonna work as good as without moisture. So make sure it's staying nice and dry. So I'm gonna put a little bit of bacterial powder in each tank, probably about like a spoon, like that, for the big tanks and for the small tanks maybe half a spoon. And I just simply sprinkle it on top of the surface. Job done. Okay guys, this is what was my first water change in my new stream room and I was thinking to share it with you. Just to show you everything what I did for that and because that was my dream as I mentioned. So it's very exciting for me to do it first time. So I decided to make a video about that. Uh, I know I already shared uh, lots of information about the water change before and lots of information is repeated in this video but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.